Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to simplify this given nested radical problem. We got cube root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 times the sixth root of 16 minus 8 times square root of 3. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this radicand, this part inside this radical. And here I have copied it down and now we are going to manipulate it so that we can convert this one into a square. So let's focus on this 16. 16 could be written as 4 plus 12 and then minus, we're going to leave this thing as it is, 8 times the square root of 3. And now let's focus on this 12. I have just copied it down. Let's go ahead and manipulate this number. 12 could be written as square root of 12 and then square. And now let's focus on this part. The square root of 12, I can write it right up here. Square root of 12 could be written as square root of 4 times 3. And we can separate, split it up. We can factor it out into two parts. So square root of 4 is 2 times square root of 3. So therefore, I can write this one as this part as 2 times square root of 3 whole square. So therefore, our this expression is going to become 4 could be written as 2 square plus 12 could be written as this quantity 2 times square root of 3 then whole square and this part I can write as 2 times 2 times 2 times square root of 3. And now we can see that this represents a perfect square. So therefore we are going to use this formula and this could be written as 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 whole square. So therefore our this problem is could be written as we're going to leave the first one as it is the cube root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 then times the sixth root of this part inside I am going to replace it by this one so I can write 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 whole square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this sixth root, this radical part. We are going to manipulate this one. And now let's recall the basic rule. The nth root of x is always equal to x power 1 over n where this nth root of x is called radical notation and this x power 1 over n is an exponential. And now since we are dealing with the sixth root, I can write the sixth root of x could be written as x power 1 over 6 and x power 1 over 6 could be written as x then power 1 over 2 times 1 over 3 and in turn this could be by the rules of exponent this could be written as x power 1 over 2 and then power 1 over 3 and that in turn could be written as this thing is same as square root of x and then 1 over 3 means we are talking about the cube root. So therefore this sixth root of x could be written as the cube root and then square root of x. So therefore our this part could be written as this one. Just focus on this one as 
this one is going to be 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 whole square and then I'm going to put this uh, square root and then I am going to put a cube root of that one and meanwhile I am going to leave this one alone now we can see this square root and this square they undo each other so we simply ended up with the cube root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 so therefore this part could be written as this one so therefore this expression could be written as the first part I'm going to leave it exactly same way so that is the cube root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 and this second part we are going to write as this one so this could be written as a cube root of 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 and now this could be simply written as the cube root of 2 plus 2 times square root of 3 times 2 minus 2 times square root of 3 by using this uh, rule of radicals and now let's focus on this radicand inside this uh, radical and here I have copied it down now we are going to use this well-known formula so this could be written as simply 2 square minus then 2 times square root of 3 square so this 2 square is going to become 4 minus 2 square is 4, 4 times 3 is 12. So this turns out to be negative 8. So therefore now we are going to replace this whole thing by its simplified form which is negative 8. So therefore we can write this thing as a cube root of negative 8. And now we know that the cube root of negative 8 is simply negative 2. And here's the justification. This negative 8 could be written as negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 with a cube root. No wonder this turns out to be simply negative 2. So thus our simplified answer turns out to be negative 2. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.